today I'm going to be teaching you how to needle felt an animal head. The materials you will need are wool felt and a couple variety of colors that you want, a felting foam block, and felting needles. We're going to take our base wool. I like to use white just because it's a good filler. We're going to wrap it around itself so we get a kind of tight little burrito. We're going to take our felting needle. We're just going to start poking into it. Our object is to make a nice sphere, so we're going to poke, 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 and slowly rotate it. And then poke, 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 and keep rotating it. I like to think of it as like a clay ball, where the point of the needle is the surface. So instead of rolling it like this, you're taking your needle and rolling it. And it's going to take a lot more stabs than you think, but just keep rotating and kind of stabbing. And see how it's already holding onto itself? We're just gonna keep on doing that till we have a solid surface. Then I also like to kind of drag the top of the wool just to help make the shape a little bit more. To remind while needle felting is you are using a very sharp needle that has barbs on it. So every time you stab in there, you wanna make sure your fingers are away. Keeping a band-aid on the side never hurts. So the goal is to make this perfectly sphere and see how I kind of have it as an oval. This is a good time to pick it up and kind of move it to its side. That and then to really help make some knots, you can stab into the same hole multiple times to really indent some areas. And kind of go to the other side. See, I'm kind of working in a circular section just to help make that ball form. It's getting a little closer but we're just gonna keep rotating it and kind of looking at where the next stab should be. So it's a little oblong right here. And we'll just keep poking away. I think that we're done with the main shape of the head, but we still have a little more to go. You want it to be a good consistency to there. Like if I take this guy and give him a squeeze, he has a lot of density to him. Where this one is still pretty fluffy. So we're gonna keep going. So since we starting to have this nice, firm, solid head shape, and you're gonna hear a nice, good crunch. That's kind of a good knowing point of when you have a good consistency. So we're gonna kind of keep this to the side and we're gonna make this snout. So we're gonna get our same base color. Um, kind of depending on how big the snout, how much you want. Then we're just gonna do kind of the same, wrap it up as best we can. And this one doesn't have to be a perfect circle. And kind of like the circle head, we're just gonna start stabbing it into place, give it a nice little rotate. And we're gonna keep on doing that until we have a nice kind of barrel shape. So now that we have the shape of the snout, we can apply it. It doesn't have to be as dense as the head because we're going to be applying it to it. So I'll be taking this and kind of, since it is a pretty good circle, you can put the snout on anywhere. My favorite way to do it is to put on top, take one of your felting needles, shove it all the way through so it's pinned in there. And then we're going to take another felting needle and start stabbing your nose to the main of the body. We're just going to kind of keep poking around. Sometimes I like to get it a little bit at an angle so you can get right around the edge of it. And we'll just kind of be going back and forth from the edge and the top to shove it really deep in there. So we've been felting this nose on and we can now remove the center pin and it's gonna be nice and fairly attached right there. We're gonna keep this to the side and move on to the ears. So for this one, I want some uh, pointy black ears. We're gonna get a little bit of our wool. That might be a little much. Then you can always add more wool to it if you do need to make it bigger. I'm gonna kind of do the same thing and give it a little bit of sandwich, but I want all these extra fluffy parts on the end still. See how I kind of have it in a almost triangle shape? We're gonna take our felting needle and felt it into the block and you can kind of take the top of it and scrape it just a little bit to get more of that triangle shape I want. But we're just gonna be felting it into the block. And then once we get kind of a shape, we're gonna 
take it out of the block, give it a nice flip, and do the same thing from the other side. And we're gonna keep doing this until we have a nice firm ear. All right, we're gonna keep going with this ear. And once you kind of pull it up and it stands in a triangle, you have yourself an ear. And then you do wanna make sure you have all this little fluff. And then we'll move on to the next ear. Folding it up. Um, that one's gonna need a little more wool to match the size of our other ear. So we can just kind of wrap it on top of there. And this one might need a little more shaping, but that's all right. I'm just gonna put it right into the wool in the center so it has something to hold onto. And then we're gonna kind of do our scraping technique. I want my point right there. And this is kind of the hard part about the shape bin. And you can always drag it. See how that part's a little fluffed up, but it's stabbed in. We'll just take it off there, rotate it to the back side, and you can kind of always fold over on itself as well to make it denser. Now we're starting to get more of that triangle shape in there. And we'll just keep flipping it and rotating it until we have a nice solid piece of felt. Looking back at this, we might have a little too much wool on here. You can't cut your wool because once you cut it, you can't be refelted. We're just going to start slowly peeling little bits off at a time. And see how you get all this fluff out of there. And that feels a little more the weight I want. So we'll just clean up what I messed up. So now that we have two ears, I like to kind of map out where I'm going to place. We're going to take one of our felting needles and kind of thread it on there so it's holding, much like we did the snout. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, see if I like it right there. And I'll kind of take the other one, pin them into place. Now I think that'll be a nice little area, maybe move it back just a slight bit. But I like to kind of give it a little bit of a view before I attach it. And then we're going to take our next felting needle and see how I left all these extra little fluffs at the bottom. That's gonna what really gonna help attach it to the noggin. So we're just gonna kind of get right there on the sides and start poking them into the head. And once you get it kind of partially attached, you can remove one of the needles to get right into the center there. But we're just gonna take all this extra fluff and poke it into the head. The ears attached me pretty good on there. Time to color. I think he needs a little more black, it's just the ears are popping out. So we're gonna take our black wool, and then we're just gonna lay it right over the top. Cause I want these ears to be a little more around the, the head. And we're just gonna take our needle and start felting the black right into a, the body of the head. I think it'll give it a little more character. But we're just trying to find all these fluffy parts and uh, scrape them into where we want and then stab it down. I think I'm going to do this for both ears. We kind of covered a little more of the head in black. The ears don't pop out as much. We're going to make them a nice little nose. So to start that, um, wool likes to react with heat and moisture. So if you kind of just give it a little rub in the palm of your hand you make a little circle and then I think just right on the nose there. Sometimes I like to pin even these small guys in there just to help. We'll just be adding it all around the nose. And since I think I'm gonna make this a dog and they have that little line that goes down the middle right there, we're gonna take some more of our black wool and just make a nice little almost string. Take our needle, pin it to the nose, and then we're gonna take this bottom one in. Just start poking it down the line. And then since I kind of have that little 
mouth curl. We're gonna take this and give it a little bit of a split. And then kind of scrape it into the place we want. And just kind of give it a little scrape, a little stab. These stabs don't need to go super deeper in there. They're more of just placing that wool on top of your bite. And then felt the rest of it in. But you'll get a little bit of a snout. Nose and mouth nicely felted in there. Time to move on to the eyes. The eyes I like to layer. First, we're gonna get some white. Uh, this is the hardest part of judging how much you need. And much like the nose, we're gonna make a nice little oval. And I like to make both the eyes at the same time so I can get the same amount of wool in there. We might have a little extra, so we'll just Those look about good. We can pick up one of our whites of our eyes. We're just gonna kinda place it right there. And this is more just to break it up from the black and to kinda give you an idea of what the eye is gonna look like. Not bad, we'll just felt these in. The white of the eyes, I like to give it a little color. Same concept, we're just gonna make these a little bit smaller. So they'll fit in the middle of the eye. That's about the right size. Then we'll just start adding that part right into the center of the eyes. And we'll felt it all nice and down. And then you kind of get some of the scrape, make sure it's nice and circular-ish. And once those are in there, we can make the pupils. We'll just take black then make them even smaller than those ones. And voila, you have an eye. And we'll repeat for the second heart. We have the general shape and color of our animal. This is when I like to find little detail work. See how I have a bunch of little fluffs and stuff? This is when I'll go back over and just try to clean everything up maybe sculpt it a little bit more make it more the shape you want and then it's also a good time to see if you want to add color or anything to it like i don't like how this ear is a lot smaller than this guy we're just gonna add black to it make it a little bit matching on the side you can always add color to it and make spots or dots or change the color up it's a lot like clay where you can put a layer on top of it. So if you're not sold with one color, you can always add another one to it. And we're just gonna add that and felt everything back down, clean everything up. Now that we are done with the shape, and I think it is a pretty finished product, my very last step is to um, grab scissors and shear it. Once you cut these fibers, it's really hard to felt. Once you cut it, this is the last step. And basically all I'm trying to do, it's really hard to see on camera, but you'll have all these little extra fluffs coming off of it. So we're not cutting into it, we're just kind of shearing it. Right around the ears, see how you got these little fluffs? We're just gonna shear them right off. And that is my uh, last step.